Okay, so as you probably already know, you're watching this video, Skull & Co has just put out the Crystal Grip for the OLED. Now they also have the Neo Grip for the OLED, and you may be asking yourself, which one should I buy? Which one is right for me? Hopefully in this video, I'm gonna help you figure that out. What's up guys, welcome back and welcome in for the first time. Really quickly before we get started, I do wanna thank my supporters over on Patreon. You're seeing their names right here. Appreciate your guys' support, thank you very, very much. And if you would like to uh, support the channel in that way, the link to the Patreon is down in the description. Obviously, that helps me out a ton. It helps me continue to do what I'm doing here. Much appreciated, but let's go ahead and get on with the video. All right, so first things first here. We're looking at two completely different styles of grips. They do the same thing, but they're definitely different styles. Obviously, this one is going to be made out of a TPU material. This is the crystal, and the Neo, being this one here, is obviously just made from plastic. And I do want to point something out very quickly. I am going to be going back and forth from this one to this one. They actually are slightly different. This is an updated version of this one. This one is thinner, but the only ones that are thinner are these Animal Crossing ones. I did ask them to see if they were going to start making these ones, the white ones and the black ones, Thinner. They said at this point they have no plans to do that. So right now this is just the only one that's uh, that's thinner. I'm not sure if it's a test to make it a little bit more dockable or what. But as of right now, this is the thickness these will stay. This one does have all the updated pads in it though. So I'm going to be referring to this one when it comes to all that stuff because this is one of the very very early ones. And from what I understand, people have got these now. The insides of this looks looks a little bit different. So we're going to be going off of this one when it comes to the stuff on the inside of this. But let's start with the crystal. A quick overview, obviously as I just said, it's made out of TPU. This thing actually wraps completely around the switch. So you're gonna, you're gonna put this thing inside. It is going to protect each corner of the switch. You're gonna have just about all of it protected. I mean, obviously if you drop it on its face, you're not gonna have much protection there. It's gonna hit the sticks, might hit the screen depending on what you're dropping it on. But as far as the sides, the buttons on the top, you know, all the way across the top, all the way across the bottom, you're gonna be covered Mostly. Again, it is just TPU, so it's not going to be able to be, you know, run over by a truck or anything crazy like that, but it is going to give it some protection. Now, as far as the Neo Grip goes here, as you can see, it just slides down in, made of plastic, not TPU. It's got this little locking piece here that just clicks down in. This thing stays in there very well. You don't have to worry about it coming out. It's not, it's not covered on the top like it is in the crystal case. The buttons are completely exposed here. Uh, the back is exposed. Most of the top is exposed, but what you do get with this one being that it's open on the back is you do, you do have the kickstand available to use if you need it. A lot of people don't use the kickstand. I have been using this kickstand a lot more than I was the old Switch, so I do like this one a little better when it comes to that. Now, I've got a full video I just put out on the Crystal if you want a little bit more information, but this one is slightly different than the one that they released for the uh, for the regular Switch. It's, it fits on there a little bit tighter. One of the things I had a problem with is it was a little bit loose on the original Switch. This one is not. Obviously, this one being hard plastic, also not loose, it stays on exactly how you would expect it to, how you want it to, no problems there. These buttons are open, as I said. These have button covers on them. This is a, uh, it's a floating button cover. You can actually take this thing out. These are essentially just button extensions. They work almost exactly like the buttons, so the new version of this, they have done a very good job as they've changed this grip. This is kind of the third iteration. The original one was the, the black one that they had, then the first clear one was the crystal, it had a little bit different buttons. These ones are definitely the best that they've done so far, that's for sure. Now, a few things that these do have in common. Both of them take the same grip. So if you have the old style crystal grip or really anything Skull & Co has made that's new for a Switch or a Switch OLED, it's gonna take all these size grips. You get different ones here. You have the, the trigger grip, the plus grip, and then you've got the tiny one here. I can't remember the name of it, but they all work really good. They're all a, a completely different feel. So you get all of them in the kit. So you're gonna be able to pick which one you like. Both of these come with that. They both are interchangeable. You can get a ton of different colors. If you have specific color Joy-Cons, you can find the colors to match those Joy-Cons. They have just about every single one. In fact, I think they have every single one. But again, no matter what grip you're using, all of them fit. So they do have that in common. Now, another thing that these grips have in common is you can pretty much buy them in the same packages. You can buy them just 
the grip itself, which is going to be just the body without these. So you would get it like this. Obviously not with the switch, but you can buy it with just that. You can buy it with the set of the grips, as I said. So you would get a full package there. Or you can buy it with the Max Carry case, which I'm going to show you right now. This is the Max Carry case. It comes with both the sets. It's the exact same one. Also, I will have a link down in the description uh, to the website. And I do have a code if you're going to buy any of this stuff. Make sure you use the code down there as well. It's Drip Media. I think you get 10% off. But back to the Max Carry case here as you can see inside got a place for you know switch games this is where you put the switch it's got a little place in the bottom to carry stuff you can uh, you can prop your switch up here like that they're exactly the same no matter what kit you get whether you get the crystal or the neo this is going to be the same now as far as the insides of these things go when it comes to the crystal there's really nothing there it's got a front lip that's going to hold the switch in and you know it's against tpu anyway this is pretty much a rubberized plastic material you don't really have anything to worry about as far as scratching your switch it goes in and out pretty easy you don't have to worry about anything you know breaking or anything like that now when it comes to the neo grip as i said the older version was a little bit different but on the newer versions all this here on the back these black lines going down and then these white spots here these are all felt they're like a rubberized felt material so that's all gonna be soft so you won't have to worry about that damaging your switch in any way and if you look right here on the side as you can see there's two giant pieces of rubber right there and that's kind of what's holding this thing in now obviously they wanted to get this thing out and be the first ones out with a grip for the OLED which you know that has led to this thing changing over time but I do believe that this is the final iteration like I said the first one I got had very different stuff going on inside of here but this seems to be what they're gonna go with from now on and there's one other thing that is interesting about this grip over this obviously this one this is one piece you're not gonna be able to change the size of this so this is specifically made for the OLED that's the only switch that's going to fit in here correctly now you could probably fit your other switch in there it, it's not gonna stay in there but I mean it would fit the OLED does not fit in the regular version of the crystal do not try that you will probably break your joy cons off the edges of the of the rails don't do that but that's where the neo grip has a little bit of a trick if you can see right here there's a little insert right there and you can actually take that insert out by removing these three screws right here having that in this thing is going to fit the OLED if you take it out and put the screws back in not having that gap there it's going to actually be sized for the regular switch so Maybe if you're somebody who has both an OLED and a regular one, this might be the way to go just because you're going to be able to use one or both. Now me, personally, I think they both have their advantages. I didn't like the original version of this as much as I thought I was going to because it was loose. This one is not loose, so I do I do like this one a lot more than I like the original for the for the older Switch model. I do like the button covers, which have both fallen out. They're right here. They don't stay in there by themselves, by the way. You have to make sure that you, uh, you keep an eye on those. You can definitely lose those very easy if the switch is not in there so be uh be be careful about that if you have this thing sitting around somewhere and you don't have the switch inside of it but i do like these button covers a lot they are a definite upgrade they keep making this button cover system that they have better and better and if you're somebody who doesn't like the covers you can just take them out you don't even have to use them so that's also an option there i do like this one but for me i think the neo grip is probably the one that i i go to the most just because I like having the uh, the kickstand accessible again I didn't use that on the old switch really at all but with this one it is something I use kind of just to put it on the table I just feel a lot more comfortable with it sitting on the table with the kickstand out than I do just laying it down but that's probably just me but guys I think that really does I think that covers everything if you have any questions about any of this stuff make sure you leave those down in the comments below I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can again Link to all this stuff if you want to check it out will be down in the description. Make sure you use the code at checkout drip media. You'll get 10% off. It might be 12%. It keeps changing. I'm not sure. 10, 12. You're going to get some percentage off. Also, the link to the Patreon is down there if you decide you want to do that. Guys, as always, thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you in the next one.